Ooh, not in my house. Hi, my name's Eric and I'm the DIY Dad. And today we're gonna go hard in the paint. I'm just kidding, we're gonna make some cookies. Not a crafty bone in this body. That's right, in honor of March Madness, we are going to be making a fun DIY food that you can serve at all of your basketball game parties, or you can just eat them because they're probably going to be amazingly delicious. So here's a list of the items that you are going to need for this DIY. First, you're going to need some Nilla wafers, or wafer cookies. We're gonna need frosting, one, that's right, we've got three frostings here and we're gonna color these frostings with our food coloring. Some spoons to mix all this up, a bag to apply some of our frosting, I'll show you that in a minute, and a healthy appetite so you can devour these delicious slam dunk cookies. You like that? See what I did there? What's a slam dunk? A cookie. Yep. So the first step, what we're gonna do is we are going to color our frosting. We're going to use the colors of our favorite school that is playing in March Madness. What school is that? Boise State! So what are BSU colors? Red and blue and green and yellow. Nope. BSU colors are blue and orange. So first, we have some blue here. So we're gonna open this up and we're gonna put a couple drops into this first bowl of frosting, okay? All right, so we've got our blue in. Can you stir that up? We're gonna watch the frosting change colors. So my wife made this frosting ahead of time and you can always just buy plain white frosting at the store or if they have the color frosting of your school's favorite colors, you can save yourself this step and buy that. What color is that? Blue. You should probably taste it to make sure that it's right. Does it taste like the right shade of blue? So the next color that we're going to mix is orange. Now, food coloring doesn't come in the color orange. I learned that today as I was buying food coloring. But never fear, we can mix what colors to create the color orange? Yellow and green. No, let's try yellow and red. What do you think? Yeah. Perfect. So now we have our BSU colors orange and blue. So the last color that we're going to do is black. And these are going to be the treads on the basketball. Treads? These are gonna be the lines on the basketball. So the next step is you're going to take your wafers, your Nilla wafers, and we're gonna lay a few of them here on the plates. So now we've got our wafers here and we're going to frost them now. And these are gonna be like cookie sandwiches, okay? So we're gonna put some filling on the inside, grab another wafer, and put it on top. So I'll do this half, you do that half. Ready? Put your hands in. Count of three, just like go team. Ready? One, two, three, go. So now our wafers are frosted. Let's put the tops on. So now we have made our wafer sandwiches. Now is the fun part where we get to make them look like basketballs. So this is where your black frosting comes into play. All right, so we're gonna use this plastic bag. What we're gonna do is put the frosting in here, cut a little snip off the corner, and then we're gonna dress these to make them look like basketballs. You can either use this type of Ziploc bag or um, I can only assume that bakers use something different. If you have one of those different things, you can use that. Push all this frosting down to the corner. All right, so once we've got it in the corner, then we're gonna snip off the little corner here. Oh, I did not know that was gonna happen. Okay, here we go. So to draw the basketball, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a line right down the middle, and then we're gonna do two half circles on the side. And that is how you make these amazing little basketball cookies. We did it, Barry girl. Go team, we won the championship. Nailed it. This was such a fun DIY. We hope that you guys try this at home and we hope that you serve some of these up while you guys are watching the games. Leave us a comment and let us know what team you're rooting for this month. And then we subscribe to Baby League. And we'll see you guys next week for another awesome DIY Dad. Bye! Bye.